What do you guys? Uh, settle down, guys. Whatever is comfortable. So today is back to the good old Tai Chi inspired yoga. Um, most of you have done this with me. So it's essentially three sequences. The first one is the golden seed, which basically opens your spine forward and back, a little bit of twisting. So it takes your spine in all the different directions that it needs to go in. The second one is the advancing and rotating warriors. And that's essentially a lot of leg work, a lot of hip mobility. And the final one is the flying dragon, which kind of is very demanding on your arms and also on your legs, but more on your arms than your legs. So by the time you finish your last one, the flying dragon, you are kind of ready for it. So without much ado, I will start demonstrating the first one, which is the golden dragon, uh, the golden seed. And so right now, I just want you to watch. So just get familiar with the moves and the cues, and then we'll start doing it together. So just watch first, don't join in. So we start with keeping our feet a little more than hip width apart and the toes pointing maybe a little outward or parallel, whatever suits you. And unlike yoga, where usually you start with your arms down or your palms in prayer position, with the more Chinesey feel, you start with your palms at the lower dantian. So the lower dantian is just a little below your belly button, uh, your lower abs. The middle dantian is right in front of your heart and you imagine you're hugging a huge uh, beach ball and your upper dantian is right in front of your forehead um, and you just keep your fingers about one centimeter to half a centimeter apart. So those are the three uh, dantians. So you start with the lower dantian uh, and just like in yoga, you collect your breath, you set your intention and then off you go. Inhale, collect the arm, collect the energy all the way up. I'll just bend my knees so you can see what's happening. You cross your arms and push out into stable force. My fingertips are pointing up. I am extending through the elbows, but it's not like a hard extend. You can kind of keep your elbows slightly soft. So that's to start with. Exhale, straighten your knees, drop down to an elephant. You can go deeper into your forward fold as much as you want. Right palm to left foot, left palm up. Twist your elephant. If you want, the right foot goes up. So you feel a deeper stretch in your inner thigh. Both your knees remain straight. Exhale, come back to elephant and then left palm goes to right foot, right arm up and these toes, if you want, go straight, come back to elephant. Now you act as if you're pulling the energy up from the earth all the way along your central meridian, around your face and then push the energy up. My palms are facing up all the way to the sky. So that's why this, another word, another name for this series of movements is called heaven and earth. So you push the energy up to the heavens, reach up, stretch. When you're ready to exhale, circle your arms all the way down, back and up, drinking bird. You can keep your wings open or closed, whatever you wish. When you're ready, inhale, circle your palms back, down, and up. This is called rocking horse. And the only difference between the rocking horse and the stable horse is the way your uh, lower back goes. Stable horse, you try and keep a straight spine. Rocking horse, you kind of arch your lower back. You completely arch your lower back. You keep taking your tailbone down, and you reach back. So it's like a back bend for your spine. For stable horse, your spine is straight. 
you go in a rocking horse from rocking horse once again drinking bird so drinking bird you gotta straighten your knees and reach down finally just drop your palms down this time soft of the palms down pull the energy up all the way to your face now when you're coming up you can soften your knees but when you're up straighten your knees again and then push the energy down all the way to your dantian back so you push the energy down and then turn your palms up to dantian and that's when you start your second cycle so if you've got that clear please stand up get to the center of your mats get your feet about a little more than shoulder width apart so this is not like yoga where you know for your warriors you're going to have two shoulder width apart it's just a little more than a shoulder width apart so you should just feel grounded you should feel comfortable and yeah you can use the same yoga principles push down equally into all four corners of your feet your toes can be turned out if you wish during the flow you can move your feet your feet are mobile unlike yoga where i ask you like you know fix your pinky toe into the mat you don't have to do any of that you can keep be as mobile flexible and you know flow with your spine flow with your breath so once you've found your feet get into your lower dantian get into your breath set your intentions golden seed round one starting now inhale circle your arms all the way out collect the chi collect the energy all the way up cross your arms and push down to stable horse exhale fold forward to elephant feel the stretch straighten out the knees reach down right palm to left foot left palm circles up right toes up if you want twisted elephant to the left come back down twisted elephant to the right left palm to the right foot right palm up left toes up if you want twisted elephant to the right come back to elephant turn your palms up Pull the energy up through the central meridian. Circle around the face. Push the energy up. So if you notice my elbows are moving out. Push the energy up to the sky. Look through your fingers. Exhale. Circle your palms back and up. Drinking bird. Lower your heart down as much as you can. Keep your chin up. Inhale, circle your palms all the way up, rocking horse. Arch your back, reach your palms as far back as you can. Reach your tailbone back. Come back to drinking bird, straighten your knees, circle your palms down, back, up. Find your bird, drinking bird. Release your palms down, soften up the palms down. Pull the energy from the ground all the way up. Straighten your knees, push it back down to your dantian. Stay with your breath. Golden seed, round two. Inhale, circle your arms all the way up. Reach, collect the energy, cross your arms, push into stable horse, spine tall. Reach your wrists as far out as possible because your fingers are pointing up. Exhale, elephant, straighten your knees, forward fold. Twisted elephant to the left, right palm to left foot, right toes up, left arm up. Try and go a little deeper each time, come back to elephant, twist to the right, left palm to right foot, right palm up left toes up if you wish come back 
face your palms up. Inhale, pull the energy up through the midline, circle around the face, push the energy up to the heaven. Look through your fingertips. Release your palms to the sides, back and up. Drinking bird. Circle all the way to rocking horse. Arch your back, reach your fingertips up and back. If you want, take your chin up. Exhale back to drinking bird. Release the palms down, soft up the palms down, pull the energy up all the way to your face and then push it back down to your dantian. Collect your breaths. See if you want to adjust your stance. So while you're doing the elephants or the uh, horses, you tend to move your feet. Your feet are mobile, which is fine. But come back to what feels comfortable. A couple of breaths more. When you're ready, golden seed round three. Inhale, circle your palms all the way up. Let them cross and push down, stable horse. Exhale, elephant. Twisted elephant to the left. If you want to pick up your right toes, come back to elephant, twist the elephant to the right, pick up your left toes, go back to elephant, soft up the palms up, pull the energy up through the central meridian, around the face, push the energy to the heavens. Circle away to drinking bird. Reach your arms as far forward as you can. That gives you a little more leverage to get into your forward fold. Circle back to rocking horse. Circle back to drinking bird. Strengthen your knees. Release your palms down, soft the palms down, pull the energy up to your face and then push it back down to your dantian. Stay with your breath. Check in with how you feel. All these ancient movements work the energy in slightly different ways, but you will feel that movement in your energy if you're paying attention. Relax your shoulders. When you're ready, go to the seat, round four. Inhale, circle your palms all the way out. Collect the chi, cross your arms, push down, stable horse. Push out with your palms. Exhale, elephant. Deeper twist to the left, lift your left arm up, right toes up if you like, knees straight. Twist back to center, twist to the right, right arm up, left toes up. Go back to the center, soft of the palms facing up. Inhale, pull the energy through the center around the face, up to the heavens. Reach up through the soft of your palms. Exhale, circle to drinking bird. Knees straight, arms over and across. Circle to rocking horse. Arch your back, palms up and back. See if you can get a little deeper, bend your knees into a nice little squat. Exhale back to drinking bird. Release your palms down, soften the palms facing down. Pull the energy up. 
to your face, push down to your dantian. Stay with your breath. When you're ready, hold and see number five. Inhale, circle up, cross, stable horse, push down, push out, stay stable, exhale, elephant, go deeper with your fold, twisted elephant to the left, right toes up, left arm up, back to elephant, Twisted elephant to the right, left toes up, right arm up. And back to twisted elephant, soft of the palms pulling up. Come up tall, circle around your face, push your palms up, reach up to the heavens. Circle to drinking bird. Circle back, rocking horse, bend your knees, arch your back, reach your arms up and back. Circle back, drinking horse, straighten your knees, drinking words, sorry. Knees and palms down, soft of the palms down, pull the energy up. You should feel the tension in your fingers, like pulling the energy up. Push it down to your dantian. Stay with your breath. And release. Settle down on your mats. So sit down. And I will just introduce you or maybe remind you, for most of you, about the advancing and retreating uh, warriors. So do it in a way that whichever leg is facing your screen goes up first. So for me, it's my, well, for me, it's my right, but I'm going to say left. So, you know, if I'm going to say left, so for you, if this is not the way, then just Either turn and or go to the other side so that we're all synchronized. Okay, otherwise it can get extremely confusing for me, for you, for everyone. Okay, so we start the same way. This time you start with your feet uh, hip width apart and your palms at your lower dantian. And you're still watching, you're not doing anything. And your advancing and retreating warriors starts now. Inhale, circle your arms up. Your left knee goes up. Now it's a strong, powerful move all the way back. You're turning to face back. You're pushing forward. So your left leg has gone back. Your right arm pushes forward. Opposite leg, opposite arm. Remember, opposite leg, opposite arm. Right arm pushes forward, left arm pushes back. I know it gets confusing. Sometimes you end up looking like this and then you wonder what's happening. But as long as you remember your left leg got up, went back, so your right arm goes forward. Now you can reach forward as much as you want. The more you reach forward, the more you work your flexibility and your strength. If you can decide to just stay here, you're working a different set of muscles, that's fine. Inhale, come up. So try and stay not very high. So don't straighten your knee completely. Just bend your knee slightly. Collect that energy into a ball. And notice my feet are mobile. And then to this side, left arm forward, right arm back. Second advance. Notice my fingers are kind of pointing up to the sky. I'm reaching through my wrist. Once again, collect the energy. Notice the knees remain supple. I don't ever lock my knees. The knees remain supple. Third advance. Right arm forward, left arm back. Now we move to the defense. 
So drop your right elbow as low to the back as you can. So initially it may not go low. As you work through, it will go lower. Bend your left elbow. Protect your face. It's a defense. So protect your face with your left elbow and your right arm kind of twists back. So you're in this twisting position and you're looking up at the sky. Now this is where it gets confusing. So pay attention. Defend to the other side. So left elbow goes down, right elbow follows. Protect your face with your right palm, your left arm circles back. This is easy. Now you need to circle both your arms. So it's like you're just going in the same direction. Circle back, but look to the rear end. So this was where you started. You're looking at the rear end. Both your arms are pointing to the front. You're looking over your left shoulder. Circle your palms all the way back. And find yourself at your lower lunge here. Feet are hip width apart. So you've come to the opposite side. So that was half a round. You complete the round. So just, you know, I'll do it pretty quickly. Just revise. Inhale, take your right leg up. So that time you started with your left leg. This time you start with your right leg up. Powerful move all the way back. Left arm forward, right arm back. Collect the energy, right arm forward, left arm back, second advance, collect the energy, third advance, drop your left elbow, drop your right elbow, first defense, drop your right elbow, drop your left elbow, second defense, you can look up at the sky, then keep moving in the same direction, arms point to the back, oh uh, no, to the front. Your face faces the back relative to where you started. Circle your palms back to your lower lunge. Are we ready? So, levez-vous s'il vous plaît. Uh, sorry, stand up please. And come to one end of your mat. So, I'm going to start with the left leg going up. So if with your left leg going up, you're not going to be facing the screen. Go to the other side of the mat. So everyone, when your left leg goes up and back, so your left side should be facing the screen. Okay. Palms to your lower dance hand. Collect your breath, set your intentions, advancing and retreating warriors. Tall and powerful. Are you ready? Inhale, circle the energy up. Pull your left knee up. Reach. Powerful move back. Face the back. Right arm forward, left arm back. First advance. Like the energy. Other side, second advance, left arm forward. Collect the energy. Right arm forward, left leg forward. Drop your right elbow. Drop your left elbow. Protect your face with your left palm. Look up at the ceiling, drop your left elbow, drop your right elbow, protect your face with your right palm, circle your left palm back, move in the same direction, come up toward, palms pointing to the front, face pointing to the back relative to where you started, inhale, circle your palms all the way to your lower dance here. So this is now where you start from. Inhale, circle your arms all the way up. Take the energy up. Take your right knee up. Reach. 
huge powerful move back, turn to face the back, left arm forward, right arm back. Collect the energy. Second attack. Collect the energy. Third attack. Drop your left elbow. Drop your right elbow. Protect your face with your right palm. Look up. Drop your right elbow. Drop your left elbow. Protect your face with your left palm. Keep circling in the same direction. Fingers point to the front, face points to the back relative to where you started. Circle your arms all the way up and back to your lower down here. So when you do that, it's quite an awkward move. Try and come exactly to the space or the place you think you want to stop at. So avoid that shuffling of feet to get back to your hip width apart, feet parallel stance. Stay with your breath, check in with how you feel. One full round done. Probably do two more full rounds, maybe three, depending on the time. Keep tall. When you're ready, inhale, circle the energy up, get your left knee up, half one move back, right arm forward. First attack. Collect the energy. Feel your arms kind of muscle hugging the bone. Second attack. Left arm forward, right arm back. Reach through your palms. Collect the energy again. Third attack. Stay as low as possible. Drop your right elbow. Drop your left elbow. Protect your face with your left palm. Look up. Circle your right shoulder up and back. Drop your left elbow. Drop your right elbow. Protect your face. Keep moving in the same direction. Point your fingers to the front, face to the back. Circle back. To your down to your end. Inhale, circle your palms up, take your right knee up, right leg back, left arm forward, first to back. Collect the energy. Second attack. Collect the energy. Third attack. Drop your left elbow. Drop your right elbow. Protect your face with your right palm. Left shoulder keeps moving up and back. Drop your right elbow. Drop your left elbow. Protect your face. Twist up, look at the ceiling. Keep moving in that same circle. Your fingers pointing to the front. Your face pointing to the back. Circle out. Your lower down to him. Stay with your breath. Two full rounds done. Set your intention. Inhale, circle your arms up. Take your left knee up. Powerful move back. Keep flowing, right arm forward, first back. Collect the energy. Second attack. Collect the energy. Third attack. Drop your right elbow. Left elbow. Protect your face with your left palm. Twist up. Drop your left elbow. Drop your right elbow. Twist up. Protect your face with your right palm. Keep moving, same direction. 
Two notes pointing to the front, face pointing back. Inhale, circle back to lower down to you. Inhale, circle up, right knee up. Powerful move back, left arm forward. Collect the energy. Second attack. Collect the energy. Third attack. Drop your left elbow. Drop your right elbow. Protect your face with your right palm. Twist up. Drop your right elbow. Drop your left elbow. Protect your face. Twist up. Keep moving. Same direction. Fingers pointing to the front. Face pointing to the back. Circle out. Lower down to your end. Save your breath. So I think that is three full rounds, right? Okay, let me check. Give me a thumbs up if you want one more round. So, okay, I can only see one person and that's a thumbs up. So we're doing one more round. Back to starting position, palm to lower down to here. Head in with your breath. Inhale, circle your arms up, left knee up, reach. Powerful move back, right arm forward. Connect. Left arm forward. Connect. Right arm forward. Drop your right elbow. Left follows. Protect with your left palm. Twist. Drop your left elbow. Stay low as low as you can. Drop your right elbow. Protect. Twist. Circle same direction. Fingers pointing forward, face pointing back. Circle out to your lower dantian. Inhale, circle up, right knee up. Exhale, left arm forward, right arm back. Connect. Right arm forward, left arm back. Push. Connect. Left arm forward, right arm back. Drop your left elbow. Drop your right elbow. Protect. Twist. Drop your right elbow. Drop your left elbow. Protect. Twist. Circle in the same direction. Fingers pointing front. Is pointing back. Circle out. To your lower dot here. Stay here. Feel the stillness of all that movement. Feel that energy. Moving a little quicker through your system. If you pay attention, you can actually feel a subtle vibration within you. That's your body acknowledging the movement. That's the body acknowledging the breath and the movement together. Okay. Yogis, sit down. Watch for the most fun of the three, which is the flying dragon. So, once again, start with your left leg facing the screen, and you're just sitting and watching. You're not doing anything. I just wanted to get familiar with the turns so that when you do it, it's not in the street. Because you know, you're going to be in down dog position, you, you're not going to be able to look at the screen. So, you should just kind of, you know, when I say something, you know what you need to do. Don't stay in the center of the mat, stay a little towards the top right corner of the mat. And you know why very soon. So you start with your feet about a foot apart, maybe feet together, it doesn't matter. Inhale, keep your palms up, left knee up. Your left foot goes back, unlike the last time where you actually face the back, you don't. You just drop your left foot back. Drop your palms inside your right foot and you go into lizard. So you go down as much as you can, 
your knee keeps pushing out, doesn't matter, you're opening up your hip, doesn't matter. You bend your elbows as much as you can. Now, some of you will stop here, which is fine. Your back knee can't remain straight. You want to put it down, put it down, doesn't matter. If you can, touch your cheek all the way down. But don't kill yourself doing it. Come up. Right arm floats up, twist, and go as far out as you can beyond the midline. But in doing so, don't get your hips up. Don't do this. Keep it nice. Circle your right thumb down and get your right leg back and up into dragon tree. That's why I say blow your right dragon tree. Feel that stretch as much as you can. Get the dragon tail all the way forward between your palms and the dragon flies across the world. So when the dragon flies across the world, reach through your fingertips. So I want you to do a huge circle. It's not like, ah, oh, okay, let's just go to the other side. Please do it like you mean it. So dragon flies around the world, lands up on the other side. And once again, twist. So left arm goes up. Once again, try and go across the middle. And yes. Inhale, come up. So this looks very much like a high lunge, except that your tailbone keeps moving down and then you grow your dragon wings. So you come down to cactus elbow in line with shoulder and you keep taking your heart up so it's a huge back bend you squeeze your shoulder blades in it's like you want your elbows to meet behind you if you can manage chin up now your back knee if you can keep it straight great if you can't bend it a little bit breathe your dragon grow your left dragon tail From here, thread the needle, which means your left foot goes between your right palm and your right foot. And once you've got that, belly of the dragon, release your right palm, keep your hips moving up. So you don't want to look like this. You want to be strong, reach across. If you want to reach overhead, so your right palm kind of reaching down to the mat. Release back. To dragon, grow your left dragon tail. So this is very much like a three-legged down dog. Even though it's a transition, try and get a full stretch. Left foot all the way forward between your palms. This is where it gets nice and demanding. You're going to get into flying dragon, which looks like a modified warrior three. So here. You're in your flying drag. Try and keep your heel in line with your hips, in line with your head. You can keep your elbows slightly bent, unlike warrior three, where you kind of reach forward, keep your chin up, then land your flying dragon. Keeping soft, pull the energy from the earth all the way up. Push it back down to your dantian. And that's half a circuit. So I'll complete the circuit for you. So still keep watching, don't join in right yet. So now I'm at the other end. I'm at my top left corner because my right leg will go up and it'll need space to go to the bottom right corner. I'll just do it a little quicker this time. Inhale, circle up, right leg up, exhale down to lizard. Push back, left palm circles up and cross. Please draw your left dragon tail. Left foot all the way forward between your palms. Dragon flies around the world to the other side. Dragon lands. Right arm up, 
twist, twisted dragon. Use your right palm. Inhale, high lunge to grow in your dragon wings, palm full. Release. Grow your right dragon tail. Belly of the dragon. Oh, sorry, thread the needle. After thread the needle, belly of the dragon. Please draw your right dragon tail. Right foot all the way forward. Fly your dragon. Land your dragon. Pull the energy up to your face, down to your right tail. As you can see, I'm already sweating. Are we ready? I will see if I can pin Ranjini. And okay, I can't, I need to add another pin. Okay, so I'll just do it. When you're ready, top right corner of your mat. Join in, won't you? Fingers at your lower arms here. Spine tall. Inhale, circle your arms up. Take your left knee up. Left foot all the way back. Drop down to lizard. See if you can get your left cheek on the mat. Push back up. Your right arm goes up, twisted dragon. Please grow your right dragon tail. Right foot all the way forward. The dragon flies around the world. Lands on the other side. Left arm goes up, twisted dragon. Inhale, come up, a lunge. Draw your dragon wings. Heart up, chin up. Squeeze your shoulder blades. Release. Draw your left dragon tail. Thread the needle. Belly of the dragon. Please draw your left dragon tail. Left foot comes all the way forward. Get ready. Fly the dragon. You can keep your back knee slightly bent if you wish. Land your dragon, pull the energy, hold the way to your face, push it down, lower down to the end. Find your way to the top left corner of your mat. Stay with your breath. Check in with your heartbeat. And now you know the secret in yoga why your heartbeat starts racing up. The minute you start involving your arms, even though you're not moving fast, your heart speeds up because the heart meridians run through your arms. When you're ready, inhale, circle your arms up, get your right knee up. Push back and land down for the lizard. Try and get your left cheek on the mat. Push back up. Left palm circles up. Twisted dragon. Please roll your left dragon tail. 
the left foot comes all the way forward between your palms. Dragon gets ready to fly around the world. Lands on the other side. The right arm floats up to Mr. Dragon. Keep your right palm down. Inhale. Dragon lunge. I just made that up. To grow your dragon wings. Squeeze your shoulder blades, heart moving up, chin moving up, spread your fingers. Breathe. Draw your right dragon tail. Knees straight, reach up. Thread the needle. Belly of the dragon, hips up, reach across. Draw your right dragon tail. Right foot all the way forward. You grow your dragon wings. Supply. It's incremental. You kind of feel your foot in line with your hips. Reach your heart forward. Same yoga principle. Drop your dragon, land your dragon, pull the energy up to your face. You should now your lower down to your end. Scoot your way, top right, stay with your breaths. I think that was one full round. Stay with your breaths. And tall. Push down equally into all four corners of your feet. But unlike yoga, where I actually ask you to pull out your kneecaps, here you can actually keep your knees a little soft. You don't have to kind of pull your knees in and pull up your kneecaps. It's cool. It's a different way of activating the energy. Inhale, circle your arms up, get your left knee up, drop down to lizard, left cheek on the mat, push up, your right palm floats up, twisted dragon, knees, draw your right dragon tail, Right foot all the way forward between your palms. Dragon flies down the world. Dragon lands on the other side. Left arm goes up to Mr. Dragon. Breathe. Inhale, dragon lunge. Exhale, pull your dragon wings. Squeeze the shoulder blades. Elbows in line with the shoulders, elbows circling back, heart moving up, chin up, release. Grow your left dragon tail. Thread the needle. Belly of the dragon. Release. Draw your left dragon tail. Left foot comes all the way forward. Fly your dragon. Land your dragon. Pull the energy up. Rounded back, spool all the way to your face. Push it down to your lower down to the end. Scooch to the top left. Stay with your breath. Mm. 
Inhale, center your arms up. Reach your right knee up. Right foot all the way back. Drop down to lizard. Right cheek on the mat. Push up. Float your left arm up. Twist and drag it. Release. Get your left dragon tail up. So draw your left dragon tail. Left foot comes all the way forward. Dragon flies around the world. Lands on the other side. Right arm floats up, twisted dragon. Please. Dragon lunge, inhale. Draw your dragon wings, squeeze the shoulder blades, elbows moving back, heart moving up, chin moving up. Please. Draw your right dragon tail. Thread the needle, belly of the dragon. Please draw your right dragon tail. Right foot all the way forward. Fly your dragon. Drop the dragon, pull the energy up, round your back, all the way to your face, push it down, or down to the end, scooch to the top right, stay with your breath. I feel there is one more round coming up. If you feel completely exhausted, if you feel completely knackered, feel free to just stop. You don't have to struggle with this. Check in with your breath. Check in with your heartbeat. Push down equally into all the corners of your feet. Inhale, center your palms up, left knee up, left foot goes all the way back, drop down to lizard. See if you can get the cheek down to the mat, push back up. The right arm goes up, twisted dragon. Please go your right dragon tail. Right foot all the way forward. Drag it circles around the globe. Lands on the other side. Float your left arm up, twisted dragon. Please inhale, dragon lunge. To grow your dragon wings, squeeze the shoulder blades. Elbows moving back, heart moving up, chin moving up, release. Draw your left dragon tail. Thread the needle. Belly of the dragon. Please draw your left dragon tail. Left foot all the way forward between your palms. Fly your dragon. Land your dragon. Pull the energy up around the back. Switch to your face, 
push it down, lower down TL, scooch to the top left corner of your mat, stay with your breath. Last round, make it your best. Every time you need to stretch, stretch completely. Don't hold anything back. Inhale, slip your arms up. Right knee up, right foot all the way back, down to lizard. Push up. The left palm circles up. Twisted dragon. Please roll your left dragon tail. Left foot all the way forward between your palms. Dragon flies around the world. Dragon lands on the other side. Right arm floats up. Twisted dragon. Peace. Inhale, dragon launch. Dragon wings. Please draw your right dragon tail. Spread the knee more. Belly of the dragon. Please draw your right dragon tail. Right foot all the way forward between your palms. Fly your dragon. Land your dragon. Pull the energy up to your face. Push it down. Lower down to your Stay with your breath. Check in with your posture. How are you standing tall? How are you breathing? How's your heart rate? How are your thoughts? Have you found some space in your thoughts? Have your thoughts stopped overwhelming you? Slowly release. Let's just do a little bit of standing meditation. So as always, uh, we'll get into Wuji posture. So I'll show you the Wuji posture from the front and the side. To start with, feet are about hip width apart and you can have the toes pointing forward preferably. If you naturally, they kind of point out, you can keep your toes pointing out whatever works for you. Initially, keep your knees locked. So they look like this. And then just unlock your knees. So I don't mean bend your knees. I just mean unlock your knees. Then your tailbone points down and forward. So can you see that little tilt in my pelvis? I'm exaggerating it, of course. But the tailbone points down and forward. And then my spine becomes like a C you want it to become J. So though the pelvis is tilting back, my spine remains tall, so it kind of looks like this. And then I just take my palms, turn them towards the back. So there's a space between my elbows and my toes. So I don't actually get my, palm, my elbows out. My arms just hanging loose. I just turn my palms back. That's it. Now that's your Wuji posture. If you want, just stay in Wuji. If you want, middle down here. So embrace a beach ball. So if you can see, I'm not keeping my elbows straight. I'm keeping my elbows wide, like I'm holding a beach ball to my heart. Just like this. There you are. So Wuji posture with beach ball at the heart, middle down here. 
Stay with your breath. If you want, you can close your eyes. If you want, you can keep your eyes soft, looking out at the horizon. Whatever works. Find your stillness. Punch your palms up into a fist, fists, slowly drop your fists down, straighten your knees, stand up tall, move your feet together, push down into your feet, keep your tall, push your fists down, and release. Thank you, yogis. And I'll see you again, hopefully, on Sunday.